Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scoop, 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 Scoop for the 13th of May. Okay, so the first of today's transit is Mercury making a set star to Venus. So, uh, Mercury, set star Venus, can bring a positive and loving energy to our lives over the next few days while this transit is active. It can help us develop more healthy communication with ourselves and others, appreciate life more and the people in it more. So, it's a great time to take some time out to express your love and gratitude to those around you, especially those who may do a lot for you, but you sometimes forget to say thank you. So, yeah. Also, Mercury set style Venus is also good to focus on building um, your creative skills or expressing your creative skills in a healthy way as well. And also, as I said, be more honest and open in your communication, listening to others and respecting their boundaries while also making sure that no one, you know, oversteps your boundaries as well in uh, this. <laughs> reserved British way though in a you know polite way but you know if it has to get a bit touchy and conflicty then hey ho so yeah on the negative side there can be a lack of clarity and understanding in communication some of you may find it hard to express what you really mean or be understood by others or you may find it hard to understand what other people mean and this can lead to confusion or misunderstandings in our conversations or negotiations which can be frustrating or lead to you know detrimental situations some people People may get a bit, you know, verbally aggressive and all the rest of it. But just try and be mindful of being polite as much as you can or expressing yourself with clarity, double checking any information and double checking um, that you're being clear in your intentions and explanations and asking other people to clarify as well. Overall, this energy is great to use to strengthen our relationships with our loved ones to make new connections and sometimes these arguments are needed to clear the air so it can be more authentic and, you know, embracing of the loving energy that can come with this transit or loving energy in life in general. And by confronting the dark, we can, or just appreciating the love, we can create more meaningful connections with others as well. Also, Mars is making a contrary parallel to Pluto, which is the same as the opposition, came in on the 22nd of April, so it's already been um, affecting us for a while. It's going to leave on the 28th of May, but still affect us right up until, let's say, about the 4th of June, something like that. So this energy, Mars and Pluto, our sex drive, our transformation drives are coming together, and we're being asked to dig deep within ourselves and confront our deepest fears and desires all this energy supports this allowing us to start continue the work of letting go of old thought behavior relationship patterns and attachments that no longer serve us and if we embrace this change and tap into this powerful energy we can even overcome the most difficult obstacles if we're open-minded to or willing to put in an effort and hard work to do so negatively we can feel powerless right now and feel like we're lacking control in situations situations so if you feel like you know lacking in strength feeling powerless do things to build your inner strength and resilience so for some of you this can be having a good cry for others seeking out support from a therapist or trusted friends or family member or you love or whatever techniques like mindfulness yoga tai chi any form of meditation especially breath work or you know exercise going for a run or anything that makes you chill out and relax can help you manage any feelings of powerlessness right now the key to approaching this transit is having an open mind and the willingness to release the past or to deal with whatever comes up right now so you can make room for a brighter future and with the support of the cosmos you can harness the transformative energies of Mars and Pluto here to emerge stronger and wiser and more resilient than before and although it brings challenges with our certain drives you know Mars we could become I don't want to say overly sexual but we may want to be more physical and ignore the practicalities of life or we may be too much in our heads and with Pluto here in opposition we can get 
obsessive and jealous and stalkery or have that behavior put on us so just watch out for all of that as well seek out help um if then you know going through any hard times and stuff but know that this you know energy wants us to grow and reflect on how we can make our life better as well also today venus is making a trying to saturn so this energy is affecting us over the next couple of days entered on the 12th of may leaving around the 14th but still affect us right up until the 16th so this brings determination and perseverance into the mix so showing us that with hard work and dedication the world will pay off in the end and we can come out and on top and over these challenges or any disrespect or any obstacles others try to bring to our environment and and personal space it allows us to focus on our long-term goals and take practical steps to achieve them this transit is best used to set realistic goals and making plans and taking actions towards getting them also you know allowing us to get over challenges on the positive ends but for some of you you may feel more restricted and limited and feel like you can't move forward in the areas of the life that you need to but with you know Mars and Pluto in opposition contra parallel as well this can amplify this theme so you may have to tap into those inner reserves and keep going and since Venus and Saturn represent themes of responsibility and obligation this transit can solve us where we may feel burdened by our commitment so it's important to recognize these limitations and work on finding creative solutions to make progress even if it means taking a different approach that you originally planned and you know life is always throwing us curveballs so although this um, transit can be challenging it can also serve as an opportunity to learn and grow from the obstacles we face reminding us that good things come to those who work hard and the rewards are worth the effort in the long run so telling us to to, you know wanting us to keep our head down and keep pushing forward and just realize that although it can be hard the universe is supporting us to make our journeys towards greatness even though sometimes these journeys <laughs> involve tears and setbacks and heartbreak as well so content creators can produce content that help us give us tips on how we can make long-term commitments and develop more meaningful connections with ourselves and others as well how we can set and enforce our boundaries and respect other people's boundaries as well tips on how we can create more healthier communication habits with our own self-talk and how we talk to others how we can build more or bring more security and stability into our relationships as well how we can take more accountability for our actions and how we can build more trust and respect in our relationships with others as well also giving tips and strategies and how we can successfully engage in self-reflection what it is how can we do it and you know the different forms of it some of us may listen to music while doing it some of us may exercise while doing it some of us may paint and draw while doing it some of us may feel more comfortable engaging in self-reflection while gaming and stuff it's all about what works right for you so giving tips on the different ways we can do that also any tips on how people can build a stronger sense of themselves and valuing their own unique quality and perspectives of others and respecting other people's viewpoints as well so anything uh, content that allows us to grow our relationships with ourselves and others how we can build more dedication hard work and commitment and to mutual growth and personal growth into our lives are beneficial so yeah that was the daily scope 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 for the 13th of may <laughs>